So, Paul, the first question, um, and actually one of only a handful of questions, because I think most people were mesmerized by your talk. So um, most of the question, the first one that was from the audience is, how many people are there in the world that have your depth of knowledge about mushrooms and their intricacies and, and their beauty? How many of you are there? Very few. The science is totally underfunded, underappreciated. How many of people like me? I can't even begin to describe. But there's probably... <laughs> you know, I didn't mean that personally. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you know, there, if you go to PubMed and do the research, there's hundreds and hundreds of articles supporting the medicinal properties of mushrooms. You know, I have a habitat to human connection, a belief system, and um, I think that, you know, there's a, the cellular bridge between habitats and human and animal health is mushroom and mycelium. That's what my, my books talk about. Um, but there is a mycological revolution that's occurring right now, and I think uh, we're on the front edge of that. And I'm really happy to say that there's a lot of people now who are, understand the importance of these fungi. Well, you, you talked about the knowledge of the ancients. And you, know, you went all the way back to the, the Greeks, uh, who basically understood this intimate connection between man and nature. And needless to say, the Native American populations lived in a very, very different way on the land and with, and with their relationship to the world than we. Um, do you feel a kinship with that kind of lineage yourself? Well, I think uh, from a lot of the talks today, we're looking at system approaches. You know, the, the magic bullet, target-specific drugs, yes, they're very effective. But when mushrooms have, like, anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidant, antioxidant properties, cause apoptosis, or have anti-cancer, antiviral, an antibacterial, what drug does all of those? None. Mushrooms do. They're, they're functional foods. These are medicinal foods that empower your baseline of immunity. To, so you, and they have an armamentarium of many, many benefits that can help us uh, modulate disease. And I think that's what's really exciting about them is these things really support the immune system at a very basic level. You know, when you hear somebody talk about steering insect migrations, steering insect migrations, you think of, of fields of locusts as far as the eye can see, and yet you're talking about the power of this plant and extracts from it to move entire populations of billions of insects around crops, around cities. I mean, you're really talking about steering that level yeah. of nature. We just didn't. We had a, a, a flying ant outbreak in one of our buildings, and I wish we had a film of this. But we put down some of that extract on the table, and within five to ten minutes, several hundred flying ants vectored and going directly to that directly to that extract. This is absolutely huge. I mean, you cannot underestimate the importance of this discovery. And I'm, I've received five five patents on this so far. Um, the last patent I received this year, the last two patents, gives me insects without restriction to species. And three days before TED Med, I filed another 72-page patent on zoonotic diseases vectored by arthropods and insects. Well, there's no question that I think you've delivered on my promise that the guy who's talking about mushrooms <laughs> has something to share with everybody here. You know, I wish we could have done it for another half hour. The good news is for those of you that connect with your science kit, uh, and we'll also send out a follow-up for anybody who misses it, you'll be able to get all the links and see some of this as well as much more. It went by ever so quickly. But Paul, that was wonderful. And to your mom, we're also thrilled you could join us. Thank you both for sharing with our Thank you. Thank you.